Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. Today is transfer day. Such a big day. I am headed off to acupuncture now beforehand. I'm going to do a quick 30 minute session and then we're going to go straight to our clinic. And then to lunch. Yay! Can't wait to see the picture of our little embryo. I'm eating some toast real quick. Look at this beautiful living room. I'm gonna go spend a lot of time on this couch, just love resting and getting our embryo into a baby, into the best thing in the entire universe. So as Sarah said, she's going to do a quick acupuncture. She'll be done at 10:15, so I'm about to head out the door to go get her. But she needs to have an absolutely absurdly full bladder for the transfer. So this is all for her. I also have sunglasses. Got her stick baby stick socks as well. And this right here. Get ready. We started getting it all set the last time. And we are ready now to get this turned into our baby's nursery. With all of our wonderful things over here. Things we've been collecting, things you guys have been sending us, things family and friends have been sending us. So, very, very excited for today. I gotta say, come on, Eve. Gotta say, Sarah's the best. She always is and always will be, but I am so proud of her because what we've gone through since the miscarriage in October, you know, is the hardest thing we've ever dealt with. And I presume one of the hardest things in the entire world. And she has been so strong and resilient, and especially the last like four weeks, she's just been a beaming light of hope and inspiration and love. And I know she's ready for this transfer. I'm ready for this transfer. Eve's ready for this transfer. But the physical and emotional like level that Sarah's at is just awe-inspiring. So thank you, Sarah. I love you. And I just can't wait to go see the picture of our embryo and do this transfer and it's a great day. It is a great day. Here Hi. she is. How you feel? Great. It was really good. good. She put some in different spots, like right in the middle of my like here. Yeah. Um, no, it's really good. And she was like, no, this is perfect because like just to release any tension, even if I didn't feel the tension, your body holds tension, you know, so. Yeah. yeah. Ready to go? I'm so ready to go. All right, the nurse just came in and said we're gonna get going. Okay. All right, there it is. There it goes. Oh, and now the doctor, the embryologist has to check the catheter to make sure that the embryo is not in there, but embryo just went in right there. That's my baby. There she is, Miss Pregnant. <laughs> so the term is pregnant until proven otherwise. <clears throat> yeah. Embryo went in. Saw the whole thing, gonna put on my socks. The, the phrase is warm feet, warm uterus. Yeah. Um, the, I kinda wanna like give a- It's a lucky charm because it's coming on St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> yeah. Um, I kinda wanna give a little like rundown of like what happens in okay. there. Is that all right? Yeah. Um, so I go in and I like, get undressed just from the waist down and get out on the table and they have like really nice stirrups that like lock you in velcro and everything and then um what they do is like they they just make sure that my bladder is full with a topical ultrasound you can tell in the regular ultrasound that your bladder's full too right yeah, yeah. and then um basically they put in a speculum they clean everything and then they put in, I think you call it a sheath. It's like basically like a passageway for the catheter. Mm -hmm. 
and then the embryologist comes in and verifies my name and my birthday so that they know that they're transferring the right embryo <laughs> into me and she was so so sweet and she had this really beautiful mary necklace on that like caught my eye oh really yeah and so i was just like looking at her necklace while talking to her um so then they go back they prep the embryo then they put in the catheter no i'm sorry they bring the embryo out put it into the catheter and the embryologist stays there the whole time and then they put the catheter inside and then you can watch on the screen that Peter took some you can see stuff. the transfer as well through the tube like the first time but mm -hmm. you can see it the end of the catheter it coming out of the, the embryo coming out of the end of the catheter yeah. and then when the catheter left you can see the white dot which mm -hmm. is the embryo mm -hmm. and then it's as simple as that and then they bring the catheter back to the lab and they have to wait for an all clear just to make sure the embryo is so small it's literally the size of a period on a piece of paper like yeah. so go grab a standard book standard font open yeah. it up see that period at the end of a sentence that's how big that's the how big is. it is so they just have to put it under a microscope make sure that the catheter is all clear and then everybody hoots and hollers and I couldn't hear them this time. Did they hoot and holler? They didn't. I had said, like, see you in nine months, baby. And they <laughs> they were more so like, oh, like, happy. Yeah. Um, but it was good. It was a good transfer. And I think we said, our doctor is just so nice, the one that did it today. It's not a regular doctor. Mm -hmm. a, a, a different doctor did it today. Um, but we're happy about it because he was actually the one mm -hmm. that we found out about the miscarriage about. So we were like, this is good vibes because he's going to bring... Oh, this in embryo life. yeah so we like redeeming yeah. he also did our dnc yes so um but he was smiles and happy the whole time came and i was like yeah. we have to make this like a movie experience for you because i go into that room that you guys saw and it's just like two chairs and a tv and i go in there and sit down there but like the lights were on the door was open he's like no no no, no. we have to make this like a movie experience for you mm -hmm. and like turn off the lights he's like i'm gonna close the door like enjoy yeah I asked if I could film, and they said that Peter could film, so yeah, that was Since I of, get set up in the room. Yeah. Um, but I get it. There's, in the room when it happens, there's four other people, and then me makes five. So, it's quite the production. Mm -hmm. um, but then, yeah, and then I just get changed, and then I got to go pee, which was wonderful. There's our little baby. It's cool how everyone looks a little different. Yeah. And so, like... This is the baby, right? Yeah. The dark spot. Mm -hmm. It's look. It looks like it's dancing. Yeah. All the different. You hungry? Bubbles. Ready to go eat? I'm really hungry. Let's go eat. Yeah, I can also start to feel the Valium a little bit. But <laughs> feeling good. I'm wearing my good luck embryo socks with sandals. We didn't. We never come in the back with We never do. It is gorgeous. I got a cheer wine, I got a nitro coffee. I got a drink coffee. Hey, look at that. Nitrogen flowing down. And I got a wild ranch sale. We'll show it in a second. We'll show it in a second. There she is. Have you ever had ice? Is it ice? Nitro. I accidentally brought this in. Wow. I've never had this before. It is you want like, it for a while. Yeah, um, a mock BLT with how do you say it? Tempe. 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 Um, with all kinds of lemon aioli deliciousness. Peter got his hot toddy. My hot toddies. They're actually cheesy homies, but we call them hot toddies. And Peter got a ranch salad. I feel like I've gotten salads two or three times here, but apparently I've gotten the same one every time. Yeah. Because they only have two options. So good. So this is the wild ranch, and it's got a beet vinaigrette on it, and I can love beets, and I love vinaigrette. Stage one is complete. How was it? Delectable. Stage two, quite possibly the best stage, desserts. Sweet treat. Does Peter have self-control? No. Sarah said, I want either the death bar or the brookie. So I got both. Why not both? And I got a bourbon, my bourbon yolo that I always get. Yeah, it's so good. Should we, I don't know, maybe we eat a little bit here and then a little bit at home. I'm eating all mine all right now. Okay. But we can, you can that doesn't mean you have to. And you can definitely save one of those for later. Yeah, this one, like, it is just a stomachache waiting to happen, but it's totally worth it. 
Oh, that is a beautiful day. Yeah, and the playlist in there was... Well, My Chemical Romance, The Used, um, all these things. Dashboard. This tire looks Full low. Huh. I'm finishing up the vlog. The luck. Sleepy head number one. Sleepy head number two. Exhausted. Exhausted. Super cute. Super cute. Okay, back to another acupuncture session. All right, change of plans. I realized I was gonna go to the P.O. box in between me dropping Sarah off at her acupuncture visit because she's doing her hour-long session right now and picking her up, but I'm nervous that the P.O. box traffic, because it's on I-4, is gonna be too crazy, and I only have an hour to get there and back, so I'm not gonna risk it because that would be way stressful. No stress today, all happiness. So I'm actually gonna go on a run and it's nice because I did six miles yesterday, six miles the day before. So doing a run right now kind of forces me to do four miles because I shouldn't. My foot's feeling better and I want to make sure I don't overdo it just because it feels good when I run. Um, I've kind of abandoned any kind of training plan that I formulated between now and Princess because of the injury. But now that I'm feeling better, I'm going to kind of just do it on the fly between now and Princess because it's just a few weeks away. So I'm going to go try to, not, try to knock out four miles, and that'll be enough time, like four miles out, which will be about 40 minutes back, and I'll get back like five, ten minutes before Sarah's done, hopefully. So i got to get changed and get out there while the sun's up and it's still gorgeous. All right, I decided because of time, I'm going to get, pick up Sarah at 4.30, and because of today, I'm not running four miles, I'm running three miles. Third embryo transferred. So in honor of that, this is my new little sweet embryo. Your dad ran three miles for you. Whoa, I gotta go. I gotta get home. I gotta get Sarah. I'm gonna be all sweaty when I get her, but I'm running for our babies. She's doing acupuncture for her babies. It's all for the babies. All right, we're in the car. The little fluff ball surprised me. Yeah, how was your acupuncture? Really good. Round two. It's good. I like don't know what day it is. Cause like, she like <laughs> hard fell asleep at in home. between the sessions. Yeah, and then typically while I'm there, I fall asleep too, which is like my doctor doesn't say like she needs you to fall asleep, but like when you do fall asleep, it's considered like you've like really given in to the treatment, like you're so rested. Um, but yeah, it was really good. It was really good. And where are we off to now? We are gonna go get some McDonald's french fries. It's one of those like old wives tales about IVF, like transfer day you should eat McDonald's french fries. I don't know if it's the salt or if it's the fat or if it's the, what it is, but. So not vegan, but we have done this before. Vegan. Yeah. Vegan. yeah. But hoodoo voodoo is yeah. more important <laughs> right. than veganism yes. for today. For today. We'll only probably do this this time. Right. Like, yeah. it's not like we're gonna be like, oh, we need a a daily dose of McDonald's french fries. No, 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 it's just... <laughs> just once? It's just once. All right, we just finished this super funny Netflix special. Um, I don't remember what it's called. Unveiled. Oh yeah, it's like me. There's another, like, old wives tale that laughing helps implantation. So we're watching all the funny stuff today. So we're just gonna watch all the funny stuff. But now we're about to go make some, heat up some nacho cheese. Okay, so we got this yesterday in preparation because you know dips are my life. Right, and it's a, a cashew vegan cheese? Cashew spicy blanco. Let's go get it set up. Okay. Change of plans! <laughs> Change of plans. We're gonna do a quick YouTube live stream. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm gonna post it up and say, be ready in five minutes. Hopefully. I gotta make guac, get the computer, get the phone Wait, set up. Wait, are we, don't you think that'll like freak out Evie? The guac? And the food? Yeah, probably. So we should do that after? Okay. One hour later. Alright, so the live stream is over. Super fun. We had about 100 people the whole time, which was awesome. But now I'm gonna heat up this cashew queso spicy blanco because we were worried if we did it during the live stream that, um, that would happen. So we're gonna have it now. I think everybody's doing it. I saw somebody post, what, what's with the brooms? Yeah. Okay. 
NASA said that the Earth is at the perfect tilt where a broom would stand straight up. It was just doing it. There it is. Excuse the mess. I'd like to point out that this probably can be done any other day of the year. It just wouldn't be able to be done with such ease. You think? Yes. Physics is the class, contrary to my college title, physics is actually the classes I took the most of. She's so rested, I don't want to move her. It's my cousin Matt's birthday today, who always plays games with us. He's like my brother. So it was a pretty good luck day for our transfer to fall on. I didn't even put the transfer on them. The calendar. There's only one corner of the universe you can be certain of improving, and that's your own self. Aldous Huxley. This is the earliest we've gone to bed in a long time. And I'm going to make a wish, because it's 11-11. He's so sleepy. <laughs> Big day in the books. Big old day. Yeah, it's tough. We talked about this a little bit in the live stream. There's so much happiness and joy moving forward there's still that learn for like what we did lose i don't know it's tough pregnancy after loss is tough so well, the whole different like gambit it's, of emotions yeah. mm -hmm. like we obviously love this embryo mm -hmm. and this so baby much. but we also love and miss our old baby right but this baby would not be possible without that and it's kind of just like a tough place to navigate, but, yeah, but we're, we'll gonna, do our we're doing best. it, and we're super happy with today, and we're super happy with our yeah. doctors, our nurses, and their awesome embryo. Yeah, and how our we feel, gonna, and going to do great. It looks healthy and strong. Yeah, it's going to be great. Yeah, it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.